What would you look at if the oven um, keeps tripping the, the homeowner's uh, circuit breaker? There can be a lot to it because with an oven, we're, we're just referring to like the cavity, you're baking, you're broiling something. And then yep. you have like the, the ranges where you have the burners on top, electric or gas, plus the oven. So, you know, you could have, depending on which one it is, but talking about just regular ovens, if it's tripping the breaker, it'll typically do it pretty fast once you turn it on. Because once you turn it on, whether you're doing a bake, a broil, a convection, essentially on the main power or relay board, it, it turns on a relay, which is basically just a power switch that allows the electricity to go to whatever element that you want it to. It will either be the relay board that's causing that once it, you know, it's, it's shorted somewhere, or it'll actually be the heating element that's shorted. So what can, what usually happens when it's tripping is on the back of your heating element, there are two terminals that the wires from the relay board connect to. When you have an issue and you have a short, sometimes it can basically kind of pop off that terminal to where your wires just kind of hanging loose back there. So every time you turn your oven on, instead of sending power to the element, it's basically touching the cavity of the oven so it'll ground out instantly and trip the breaker. So a lot of times just a visual inspection of the back and all of the wires uh, will we'll give you the answer as far as what's causing it. And if, if you're familiar and comfortable with repairing the wire and putting a new terminal on it, you know, we're talking about a, a 10 cent part and 20 minutes. So that's really the best case scenario for tripping the breaker.